time to face the music. Sweet mother of shit. What is up guys, Chunky Monkey 4 here in my garage tour. This is updated after ill-gotten gains. So first let's start off, but first leave a like on the video. Now let's start off with the Ben Factor Sterling GT. Love this car, it kinda, this paint job that I gave it, it kinda gives it like a brownish look and like kinda, it, remi it sort of reminds me of Root Beer from some, for some reason. Yeah, it's got, it's insured of course, it's, Alright, uh, it's a, alright handling. This is my Debauchi Masako race car. This is the, uh, this is a modded paint job. It's the, uh, Monster Green. I saw, I will leave the RGB to it down in the description. Uh, and then here's, there is Panzer. Don't want to spend much time on him. You guys have seen him in all my garage tours so far. Anyway, here's the Anus Windsor. This is the car that I really like. It has, like, the libraries and stuff on it. This is, this kind of gives it like a water effect, like diamonds in the water, kind of. That's what it reminds me of. Here's my Huntley. It's pretty cool. I just got it when I got next gen. I kind of wish I wouldn't have, though, just because I want more room in my garage. But there's the Vapid Guardian. Here's the Virgo. And uh, I like this car. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's really... I don't have much to bad to say about all these cars in the Ill-Gotten Gains DLC. Because really... They're all pretty decent. Like they, the yeah, the Albany Virgo handles horror. It's not the fastest car. You wouldn't use it in races, but still, I like it. It's got good looks. Then there's the Armor Karuma, the orange car. Then here's my Coquette. So this is the Coquette. It's got like a lime green pearlescent with a dark green uh, primary. And now I repainted my Osiris. And this car I love. This is the best car in the game, in my opinion. Like, I put a gold on it because it deserves to be golden, of course, with a dark blue secondary. So that's literally just pure gold with a dark blue secondary. That is literally all this car is. I really love this car. It's got them gold wing doors. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice interior. It's got everything going for it. It's got the same as in Torno interior same with this one it's got the going doors but only what i've noticed is that the going doors on the sterling gt open different than the uh than the uh um uh what's it called um the osiris sorry i forgot about it for a sec and i did not mean to get into this i'll just get back out of it i meant to just open the door <laughs> Yeah, that's got a nice interior. I like the blue on the inside. Once again, the RGB for this color for this color will be down in the description. I will have to look it up again and find it. Um, but then here's the Anas Windsor. Now this has a nice interior. It's kind of classy. It's nice and classic and stuff. And then here's the inside of the Virgo. It's the same as Panzer or my Gauntlet. I like calling it Panzer. Don't know why. It's just. Probably because uh, it's a tank, kind of, because I launched my friend Samurai27. You guys know him. He also runs his channel. I launched his Intorno all the way off Mount Chiliad in that car over there. And uh, <laughs> it was pretty hilarious how it happened. Like, literally, he just, like, launched right off. Because I was hauling on my way up, and he just, like, got, like, launched all the way off. It was hilarious. I wish I would have had my capture card at that time so I could have recorded it for you guys because that would have been hilarious. But yeah, guys, I'm really liking this ill-gotten gains DLC. It's got, but once again, like I said earlier, uh, it's got winter clothes in a summer DLC. That's the only thing I don't understand about it. But oh well, Rockstar's Rockstar. They're pretty dorky company, but they're also a good company. I love Rockstar. I love you guys so much. If Rockstar employees are watching this, I love your guys' company so much. I love all your games, and I hope you guys redo Red Dead Redemption because I love that game too, especially Max Payne. Um, I love all your Rockstar games. I really, really do, and that's that's the truth. I just love the way you guys make your games and how much detail you guys put into them and especially Grand Theft Auto 5 and how much detail you guys put into that I definitely respect you guys so you guys get all my respect because you guys are just a really good company and uh, yep yeah, so this is basically my garage uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, let me know what I should change let me know what cars I should get let me know like what paint jobs I should do but anyway guys so I'm gonna end, end the video right here please be sure to leave a like on the video 
And with that, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.